Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this episode, I want to show you something uh, really quite interesting. So basically, I gotta set up something running in the background. So I have my iPad over here, and I'm gonna play some kind of MIDI. Alright, so you can see what's happening. There are actually a lot of things going on in the background. So I got my iPad set up. I, my iPad is actually sending um, MIDI keys into my Mac. And I'm using an app called Touch OSC. I talked about this in the past a couple of times. Um, the Touch OSC uh, by Hexler allows you to send OSC and MIDI data into your computer. So that's one thing and I'm using this um, touch OSC bridge I actually have it running in the background and I set it up so it talked to my Mac so there is a there's a setup already happening here and on top of that I'm sending the MIDI touch into audio notes audio notes of course you already seen it um, I talked about it in a uh, few days ago so audio notes allow you to generate sound of uh, synth sound using uh, wave. It's actually using notes, and it's a. Uh, this is my setup at the moment. Um, I haven't tested all this example, but I'm. I got something that's actually working quite well. Um, so if I unplug this, so I have only I have square and sine wave. So I can control the loudness of uh, here. This is the frequency. So I get the I get the decay over here. The I'm this is actually my first time using the piano notes for um, of this audio notes add-on. So still kind of new to this. It's actually really really interesting. So the piano no. So there's a MIDI input coming streaming into Blender 2.79 and then I can send it from my iPad into, into Blender and this node allows to read the, the, the MIDI input and then sending out the value, some kind of value and I'm here I'm using oscillator and another oscillator square I can change it Oh, sometimes square doesn't work. So, just by mixing two oscillator, I'm getting this sound. That's interesting, right? But, however, I, on top of that, I have this kind of weird um, functions. I don't know why it works, but I'm using also oscillator here um, and then if I multiply all of this together we get some kind of interesting modulations so I, I can actually play music like that and um, I can change all kind try different kind of uh, oscillator oh okay obviously this controls the frequency and the modulation yeah sometimes um, I, I I notice it, it generates some kind of clicking sound it's, it's probably this that means the volume is too loud and I need to make some changes maybe uh, that one's kind of alright sometimes if, if I use square on square that's it's gonna give like a really loud
sine, sol, triangle. Um, anyways, all these combinations will give us um, some kind of sound. You can actually make a, like a guitar sound. Um, but I, I'm gonna test this a little bit more. But basically on top of this, this uh, keyboard MIDI from my iPad sending data into Blender 2.79, I have Blender 2.8 here and this is like a <laughs> kind of a surprise for me because it's actually working um, on Blender 2.80 I'm using this MOM add-on M-O-M so MIDI and other other things MIDI OSC and more so this that's the name of the add-on um, by another developers this one Actually, I, in the past, I tried using OSC, so now we can we can have MIDI and OSC sending real-time data into Blender. So, yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick demo. Okay, cool. That's working, right? I'm gonna give you... Um, uh, I'm gonna show you the how I set this up. Basically, so... This one is another add-on, MOM, MIDI OSC, still work in progress. This is listening to the this server, I think. This is why it's actually working. This I, I get this number from from the Touch OSC ad, um, app on my iPad. But anyway, it's, uh, it's listening. So at the moment, I have this listening to Touch OSC bridge and then if I have the so I have three things happening over here despite the MIDI config there's a roads that we can set up I have I have the MIDI value coming into Suzanne so I have I, I have control over Suzanne position first of all So Suzanne position is being controlled by the MIDI. Normally MIDI, you're thinking of value between zero and 128. So that's for Suzanne location X. The rest of them um, doesn't really matter. So that's being controlled here by route number zero. And then there's route one and two. And Route number zero is controlled by the key number of the MIDI, right? So that's kind of makes sense. While the the scaling, the scale X of Suzanne is being controlled by the key on number and the note of velocity because so it's like doing two things. If I release the MIDI, Suzanne will Suzanne scaling goes back to zero. Originally, it, it was actually like this, 0 to 128. If I press the key, you can see the... Um, it's not really the velocity, but the, the key on number is affecting the scale of Suzanne. So I reduce this to 10, for example. So Suzanne is kind of scaling, even though it's not scaling to one. It's still kind of enlarged uh, itself. So we can see what's uh, going on, on on the 3D view. Would be nice to actually just control the size as well. So for the scale Y and Z, I should actually add a driver based on Um, Susan X scale, for example. So I can copy driver and paste it here. So now it's doing a 
doing something really strange actually it's doing the opposite I don't know why so I'm gonna delete that anyway so I just make it back to one so at least here we can see Suzanne is doing something let me get rid of everything and what would be better is I don't mind this matcap. I, I like this non photorealistic render, but we can use other things. Maybe if it's emitting lights, it would be nice. Um, yeah, but I need to set this properly. Let me try to emit. It's now using EV. It's... Okay, that's that's the plan. <laughs> it's glowing. If if I press the, the MIDI notes and it is, the scale is going up, Susan will make light. Maybe I can set it up so Susan make different color if I press different key. But you got the idea. That's that's the mum MIDI add-on driving Susan. And being controlled by by my iPad in real time, I believe I can actually reduce the decay time. Let's try a um, different sound. started to sound kind of nice like a real keyboard right we can perhaps play like yep there's a few, a few mistakes there but uh that's a christmas uh, we wish you merry christmas Played on on the iPad, transferred into Blender 2.79, So we probably can set it up so when Blender opens, it plays a sound or something. But now that's the idea. Is really I want to make some kind of um, animation performance that's being triggered using keyboard, and then as a result, I want to record. Um, the animations and then make it into AR and play it back as an AR experience it's still something like it's a work in progress I think but it's getting easier really uh, I think my MIDI setup could be better here I, I, I still don't know how it works really so there's this comfort notes on and off I think if I turn it on I Susan simply just turn didn't send uh, this value I don't know why but there's also this option like to to play a MIDI file so I don't need to play it it's simply just use the MIDI and it's gonna play back I don't know and currently my issue um, not issue I, I still don't know how to record this um, supposedly if, if I keyframe it it should just record um, but I need to ask the developer how to actually re record so I can play back so it's real time supposedly I can actually keyframe the location for example yeah but it's not keying um, as I, ex I expected so I don't know what's going on there but it's, it's possible so this one generates sounds and this one will record the animations and this is really important that's why uh, we get a whole setup and even blender to make sound in real time like this is actually quite incredible so i still kind of surprised that this actually works so it's pretty cool 
thanks again to the developer of MUM, Media OSC and more, and the developer of Audio Notes. So they, bo they both work together. Currently, I have two blenders running, which is actually not too bad in this case, but I like to everything to run on Blender 2.80 so I can maybe set it up under one Blender app and then maybe have Svechok add-on or animation nodes or Blender particles to kind of react uh, to this as well. So yeah, so that's basically what I want to show you um, in this video. Hopefully this is interesting for you. Let me know if you have any question or something to add. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.